Hello everyone and welcome back to Pinerd Plays. Heavy rain, jumping back into it. Gonna continue the two hour blocks. Uh, if how long to beat.com is right, we're gonna finish it in the next four hours or so. So let's get into it. Uh, hopefully I don't get too frustrated with the shitty controls and uh, we'll be able to get through this. trance whatever music but this stuff is really loud play school for the jet set I'm not really loud. still haven't gotten over my encounter with dr death if this paco is one of the buddies of dr death then i better watch my step Quite the uh, value judgment she just made on that woman. Else. 
All right, so what are we gonna change? Time to play the sexy girl. Didn't change anything. The animation was funny considering it didn't do anything. Mess up her hair. Didn't really change anything. really hate the controller jerks. Because they don't fucking work consistently. Quick time event dancing. Fucking unplug my controller. Try again. The move the controller up and down bit unplug the cord on my controller that I have set up to charge. She rolled her ankles when I messed up the button presses earlier. Hey, you! It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. You? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> if people would part for me the way they did for him. I 
go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. No, it won't. Shit's gonna go south. So, welcome to my little kingdom. That's aquarium. I'll take it. Just get in the way of good things, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get it wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, we don't need any more talking, baby. I always talk down. Now, show me what you can do. Classy dude right here. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. The shit. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, and I never. Well, this seems just disgusting. really fucking hate when video games try to be sexy. Baby sweetcakes. You got it going on. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Ugh, God. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. Can we investigate the office first? No? Nothing? Oh, she already got the gun in her hand. She got a pistol weapon. Jesus. Fucking hand. <laughs> Controller. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> you haven't got the balls, lady, but you're going to know balls when I gush up with you. Hmm. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm going to kill you! Boss? Is everything all right? Boss's face with a gun on his face, so she's making those noises. If 
you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, oh. Ah. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah. I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear! Oh, ah! Ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. The dead there, guy. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> you gotta make it out of here. Time to get out of here. You got a mess. How about that? You can do too badly now. Here you go. Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick back to his office. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> the name he gave me. John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess I'll soon find out. That was a weird scene, man. Weird scene. I love that he carries his ID, not in a wallet. Away. He's dead, or of course he's been murdered. Rather, shot through the face, forehead. Killer's right behind you, dude. Oh! This fucking. Ugh. I hate the controls of this game so damn much.
more fish. He said his name was John. A friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. I told him that wasn't cool, man. I just hit the up button. Why didn't he ask where did John go? John would have had to have come out this way. goggles or whatever they fucking call Why would you pick him up, put him back in your fucking coat? Madison Page? What was the journalist doing here? Huh, Columbus, Ohio, May 3rd, 84. Almost the same age as me. Orchid pheromones. Fucking origami killer. No. A bullet right between the eyes. Instant death. More on the forehead than right between the eyes, but I'll allow it. Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. Forty five caliber. Pretty big round. Forty five caliber semi automatic. Madison Page? She may be a witness. No. Her prints are on the lamp. that she lied about what she does says she's a photographer
His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Got everything. Yeah, it looks that way. there. I really fucking cannot stand the uh, controller movement. It's uh, maybe the six axis or whatever the fuck it was called in PlayStation 3 worked better. But... Right, now it's Ethan's turn to come to the club. See, it's Ethan. He better come to the club. I'll be disappointed if he doesn't go to the club. Nope, he didn't go to the club. Ethan's cut off a finger, been electrocuted, crawled through glass, wrecked a car, almost killed some cops, killed a drug dealer. Ethan's had a hell of a ra ride. Ethan, are you alright? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Still killed her, dude. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Jeez. Romance feels uh, forced as fuck here, but. <laughs> That's some laughably bad video game kissing. I should have hit the don't, don't kiss option. I regret not hitting the don't kiss option. Apparently, judging by those button presses, circle, or right, and then circle, Ethan's a man of few moves. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? There, there is no, no grounds for romance between these two. They've barely interacted, and when they have, it's been... It's been, uh, her treating his injuries. The 
heavy breathing, man. I can do it. Totally deal without it. Did her shirt change color as he took it off? Turn the camera. Turn on the controller. Come on. How protracted is this shit? Just like teleported out of their clothing. Yeah. She's sleeping on his cut arm. Side yet. Nothing. Haven't stocked the fridge, dude. She's the only person I can trust. But now I have to be alone to do what I have to do. Things might have worked out between us if circumstances had been different. Only one more origami figure. Then I find my son. I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. Yeah, the whole stop to have sex thing. She's still asleep. No goodbyes, no explanations. I'll just leave before she wakes up. Love him and leave him, huh, Ethan? Find out she's a reporter, not a photographer. I should have guessed. All this time, and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! Ethan, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? 
my life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it went fucking worth it. Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison. All this time, you fucking lied to me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book? Ethan's unstable. It's also, their relationship's so fucked. So poorly written. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Good old unstable Ethan. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. Find something to eat. Wait for me. I'll, I'll be back in ten minutes. Oh, back to her. It's all lies. Every bit of it. It's all lies. I like how they let out in the previous chapter that she was a journalist. The, you know, the cops like, what's a journalist doing? Oh, it's Blake. like a raid. Come on, what was the damn number? Come on, come on. Pick up the phone! Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. No bullshit. What am I going to have to do here? Get up there, they're gonna be in there. Whoa. Why are you going to the roof? I mean, I know I'm the one who told you to up here. But... Don't move!
tents. If they thought he was a killer, wouldn't they have already taken a shot at him? Just saying. This cop's a Keystone cop, apparently. They're all tumbling and bumbling around back there. Cab just hit him. Hey, what's the matter with you? Uh, you hit me with your car. Dude. I like that cop just standing there in front of the motel, didn't do shit. There he is. He came out now. Jeez. Pay attention when you're developing stuff like that, man. Don't throw a guy in the background. You know, we uh, got a trophy there for the relationship bit. I like the doorknob in the middle of the door. You don't see that often. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. Oh, shit. Switch on that ignition. I heard, shouldn't you? First. He's gonna let Lauren drown. Oops.
Can can you save her? on point with the button presses here. That's bullshit. R1 popped up red. Time event the gunfight. Stay back. Don't come near me, or I'll shoot. <clears throat> Fucking asshole. Please don't. These controls. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Not a killer. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please. Don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear, I don't know anything. Why? Why they have Lauren killed then? Stop! Stop! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything. I don't know anything. Uh, Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun. You know, he wanted to to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. What about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? 
I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. I knew that was what it was going to be. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother, you know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. That girl, Lauren. She was just a whore. You'll forget her in no time. Come and work for me, Sheldy. I'll pay you well. You can have all the girls you want. Never say her name again. You hear me? Never. Well, shit. Could have saved Lauren, I just read. I fucked that up. I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Nineteen, there we are. I gotta remember to listen to their thoughts more. Hello, Mrs. Shepherd. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepherd, I They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital they were always on time. But here I came to talk about your son, Mrs. Shepherd. My son? I have no son. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. 
John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother, what was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In 10 years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. Hmm, <laughs> origami. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. No, don't close the book. Here we go again. Triangle. Down. <sighs> Fuck you. Like some of the ways that <laughs> you'd have to do your hands to do this. Fuck. Of course, she starts all the way over. Triangle. Down. L1, right, square, down, R1, over. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max? All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Okay, do I do another one? What am I gonna do? I was one of the new dogs, Max. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. 
No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Nope. Not at all. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only <sighs> had one son. My little Johnny. Mm. All right. No point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying flowers. here. So I can't get some flowers. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. <sighs> His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. She knows now. Sadly, I already know too. I knew before I started playing the game, which has made some of the story stuff interesting. <sighs> Most people don't ride motorcycles in the rain. Rain's getting to that six inch mark.
think once I finish this, I'm gonna have to go back and see all the possible ending combinations. That's a tough one. Okay. Bottoms up, I guess, huh? did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. That was a short scene. Given how some of these scenes have gone for way too long, that was a nice touch. Hey, I got the trial master trophy because I did all the trials. Even killed the drug dealer. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. Oh, End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Didn't even give me an option that time. He just straight up just snorted it. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. 
Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. doesn't get us anywhere. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Time to watch. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Cop. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Cop. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars.
Nothing. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. Yeah, we know this stuff. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. His eyes bleeding. What am I doing wrong here? for a second. Trying to figure out where what to call this here. I don't want him to die. I'm trying to avoid that. Forty seventh chapter. Okay, that's what I'm done wrong. I need to geo analyze this. 
There's only one cop in that geo-profiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. That's all I was missing. Was fucking geo-profiling. One damn thing. Random plays a little kid. This is a uh... yeah, we're back here. Uh, I'm John. Uh, I'm gonna help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. <coughs> I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. Caught on something? I can't figure out why he can't get out. Because the water's flowing away from it's not like it I could get it if the water was flowing the other way and risking pulling him in. Bitch. Go away. Wow. Wow. I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Why don't I there. tell ya? Crap. <laughs> please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. There's the big reveal of who the little kid is. Still confused about how he's stuck there, but it would have made much more sense if he's at the other end. Yep, Scott. That's his brother. Burning, dude.
you haven't figured it out yet, there's your killer. Although he looks much skinnier in that coat than he does any time other time. Okay, that is not, that is absolutely not how that fucking scene played out. That's not how that fucking scene played out at all. That was the one thing, see I've known this entire game that the private eye guy was going to be the killer because that shit got spoiled forever ago but that is not how that scene played out with the old man I was wondering how they were gonna explain that and they did it in the most half-assed way 